Today, we have more capability on orbit than we have ever before, and there's more coming. We have more partnerships with our allies. Space is booming both scientifically and economically. Today, we are connecting the globe in new and imaginative ways that has never before been possible. We're reaching folks that have not been able to be connected in the history of man. And suddenly we're doing that from space. What I'm essentially saying is there is a lot of opportunity in space and we need to address space debris um, so that space is sustainable and remains a working environment. Uh, we're not trying to burden the industry, but on the other hand, we are entering a much more complicated environment and we need to have the rules that correspondingly help us make sure that it's safe, not for this generation, but for for future generations. So this is the ideal place for me to be because there's so many people in my field, actually every member of my dissertation committee at MIT is in attendance here, so far away from home, yet I feel like there's so many people that are familiar to me and it's a great opportunity to share my work and get feedback on some of the things I'm working on. Space situational awareness has never been more important and the number of people here is very reflective of the amount of activity in space. The highest number of people ever attending AMOS and the highest amount of operational satellites and debris ever in space. I think in the upcoming years, it's gonna be SDA that's gonna be taking the center sphere. And I think we're, as the emerging generation, we're doing a good job at learning about it. We are having unprecedented levels of interaction with our allies. 23 countries dialed in here today is awesome. Three years ago, we weren't even talking to our allies about very much. We weren't allowed to by space policy. The handcuffs aren't off yet, but they sure have loosened up. The, this is the, in my opinion, the has the highest caliber of technical people, and you're able to go read all of their papers and understand what's going on, and they really are doing just the highest level of work. I'm an economist by training. I don't really go to engineering conferences or technical conferences about that kind of stuff. So the policy forums are nice because it gives me uh, kind of an interface with this world. It's, it's a really nice way to kind of cross-pollinate ideas. We're gonna have fun tonight because it truly is a celebration. Space is not, as some have asserted, a lawless zone. It is not the Wild West. International law, including international humanitarian law, apply in outer space. We cannot safely operate in space if a major space participant isn't actively engaged in sharing information in a way that enhances safety for all. There's a pretty good sense of community here. You get the same set of people coming every year, and so you get to say hello to the same group of people every year. And then we got lots of new folks, and this year it's blossomed almost out of control. We have so many participants. Uh, but it's, it's just great to, you know, always be able to reconnect and see what everyone's working on.